In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the HCF, or the highest common factor, and the lowest common multiple, or the LCM, of a couple of numbers. Now, in this case, we're using the numbers 60 and the numbers 42, but they could be any two numbers. The method is still the same. So we're going to find the HCF and the LCM more or less at the same time using the same five steps. So let's take a look at these steps. Step one is we must divide each number by the lowest possible prime number. Now prime numbers are numbers that can be only divided by the number one and the number itself. So let's take a look down here or sorry over here to see what the first few prime numbers are. These are prime numbers the first prime number is 2 because the only two numbers that can go into it are 1 in itself. 3, the only two numbers that can divide into 3 are 1 and 3. The only two numbers that can go into 5 are 1 and 5. The only two numbers that can go into 7 are 1 and 7. So that's why all of these numbers are considered prime numbers. They can only be divided by the number 1 and the number itself. So all prime numbers can be divided by two things, must be divided by two things, one and itself. That's why the number one is not considered a prime number, because one can only be divided by one. Now you can't call one also itself. It must be two separate numbers that can go into it before you can consider it a prime, only two. The number one and the number itself. So they're the first few prime numbers. So we're going to divide 60 and 42, but let's do 60 first. We're going to divide 60 by the lowest possible prime, whether that be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. So let's try, let's start and try with 2, because 2 is the lowest possible prime. And we type that into the calculator 60 divided by 2, and yes, it goes in, it goes in 30 times. So now I repeat this until I get to 1. So I repeat, so I try to divide 2 in again, 2 into 30 this time, and I get 15. So now I try and divide 2 in again, now 2 doesn't go into 15. So I'll try the next lowest possible prime, and the next lowest possible prime is 3, and 3 does go into 15, it goes in 5 times, so go again. Does 2 go into 5? No. Does 3 go into 5? No. The next lowest prime that will go in is 5. And when I divide 5 by 5, I get 1. So I've stopped now at this stage. I repeat until I get to 1, which I've just done. Now I do the exact same except for the other number, and the other number is 42. So I divide by the lowest possible prime, which is 2. And when I divide 42 by 2, I get 21. And I go again. Try and divide it by 2. No, 2 doesn't go into 21. So try and divide it by 3. Ah, 3 goes into 21. It goes in 7 times. Try and divide 7 by 2. No, 3. No, 5. No. Of course, the, only, the next lowest prime number that will go into 7 is 7 itself. And that will go in once. So now I've done 42. So I've done the first two steps. I've divided both numbers, 60 and 42, by the lowest possible primes until I get to the number 1. And now I'm on to step 3, which is I'm going to list these prime factors. So what are the prime factors of 60? Let's see. There's the number 2. Okay, 2. There's another 2. Okay, 2. There's another 3, or there's a 3, and there's a 5. So they're the prime factors of 60. And what are the prime factors of 42? They, that is 2, 3, and 7. See where I got those from? 2, 3, and 7. They all go in to 42. They're the prime numbers that can divide in to 42. So now that I've done that, I'm on to my final step, step 4. And I'm going to... Sorry, I still haven't done this part of step 3. Sorry, there's... Step 3 contains this bit here. I have to draw a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram to represent this information. So on the left, I'm going to have the set of 60. And over here, I'm going to have 42. 
So I look at the elements I have in each one. I have a 2 here and a 2 here. So that's in common. So that goes in the middle. I have a 2 here, but I don't have one. But I have a 3 here and a 3 here. So they're in common. And anything in common goes in the middle, remember. And then what's left? Well, there's a 2 and a 5 left in the 60. So I put that in. 2 and 5. And there's a 7 left in the 42. So I put that in. So I've drawn my Venn diagram. Now here's the last bit. To find the HCF, I multiply the numbers in the intersection. Okay, so the numbers in the intersection are 2 and 3. So I multiply them and I get 6. That's the highest common factor. Okay, and that's how you do it. You multiply by the you multiply the numbers in the intersection. Now to get the lowest common multiple. I multiply all the numbers in the Venn diagram, so all of these numbers by each other, okay? So the LCM is 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. It's a much bigger number, and you will get 420, okay? So that is the method to find HCF and LCM. Let's just recap here for a second. First thing you do is you get your numbers that you're given in the question, in this case 60 and 42, and you divide them, each one. You divide by the lowest possible prime until you get to 1. You do the same for the other number. Then you list those elements just as if you were making up a Venn diagram. Then you go ahead and you make the Venn diagram. And to find the highest common factor, you multiply the numbers in the intersection, and to find the lowest common multiple, you multiply all the numbers by each other. That's how you do highest common factor and lowest common multiple using prime factors.